Hi everybody, welcome to some more stories and today I'm going to read a story called The Wonder. This is a, one of my favourite stories because it's all about using your imagination. How much do you use your imagination? Uh, this is a boy whose head is filled with wonder. On the way to school, he wonders where the birds are flying. You've got your head in the clouds, sighs the park keeper as the boy nearly steps on his freshly mown grass. Waiting for the school bus, he wonders who makes the clouds. Wake up, daydreamer, grumbles the bus driver as the boy bumps into another passenger. On the school crossing, he wonders if the lollipop lady sign tastes as orange as it looks. Pay attention to the road, snaps the lollipop lady. When he gets to school, he wonders what the best playground in the world might be like. No daydreaming today, warns his form teacher. In his science lesson, he wonders how the stars shine. You can't be scatterbrained in a laboratory, barks the science teacher. In his art class, the boy finds a blank square of paper waiting. At first, he can't think of anything at all to draw. He's just sitting he's just staring at it. Just use your imagination, his art teacher tells him. So, he does all these beautiful drawings. As soon as his daydreams are set free, they take off across the page. And the boy flies with them over a park where no one keeps off the grass. Then soaring up into the sky with the cloud makers putter out candy floss dreams. He dives into the land where everything tastes as good as it looks. These pictures. Then joins the parade around the best playground in the world. What animals can you spot in the picture? And finally, far above it all, where the galaxy makers gather, he helps them buff and polish each shining star. Time to stop, says his art teacher. I'd like each of you to come up and show me what you have done. Trembling, the boy walks slowly to the front of the classroom. I wonder why he's trembling. How wonderful, gasped his art teacher. It's like a daydream. What an incredible imagination you have. Which, of course, is true. Because this boy is a boy whose head is filled with wonder. Enough to share with everyone. Wow, what a lovely story about using your imagination, about daydreaming. Do, what do you think you would draw if you had a lovely blank bit of paper in front of you and you were told to use your imagination? What would you draw? Hope you enjoyed the story. Goodbye.